Alright, so. Uh, I fixed all the controls, hopefully. And, yeah. As you can see, the cat's kind of a little pissed off that his hum that his humans were annoying him, so. And, yeah, you can get these upgrades and everything. I'm still so used to, uh. I'm actually using my number pad as all the uh, controls because I've never really been good with ASDF or WASD, not ASDF. I've seen ASDF, but it's like, you know. <sighs> yeah, you know. So, as you see uh, right there, there's a cat, and if you're if you knock him over, uh, if I can ever knock him over, that is. Come on, come on, get off. See, you'll see. Uh, <sighs> oh yeah, and there's also um, what do you call it? What do you call it? Uh, events. I don't know why I couldn't think of it. I'm kind of tired. I fell asleep at like 2. But I was still so tired. I actually woke up at 7 this morning. That um, I guess my commentary is off game. I wasn't really sure if I should upload the 4th episode of the roleplay today. Or if I should save that for later this week. And sadly, I decided for later this week. So you'll actually be seeing it on Thursday, uh, the 11th of May. So I do hope you guys understand as to why I'm doing it on Thursday. That's actually because uh, I wanted to get cat lateral damage out for you guys. Honestly, I love cat lateral damage. I just wish that they would update. So, I mean, it's not a big deal if they don't update the game. Uh, but yeah, you know. Come see, come so. And if I hit seven. And one. Yeah, you can even, like, crouch as well. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, you can see. <laughs> you can do like a swap forward with what I believe would normally be Q and E, but because I use the uh... oh cool, I can actually use the arrow keys um, since I activated numlock. Uh, or since I deactivated no more. So I guess that means I can actually have the space be jump again. Because that's what I always wanted to have was for it to be uh, the arrow keys and like numlock is yeah numlock would be the So, yeah, uh, you can also find these things that you have to destroy, like, ah, where am I, okay, <laughs> I had to get my bearings there for a minute, uh, yeah, basically the whole point of the game is you just have to try and destroy every single thing, um, I personally love this game because I have cat and he is well he's not this destructive but you know he is pretty destructive like if you have something on a countertop or a box of some sort that's too small for him uh yeah he'll just you know 
He'll sit on the box or he'll like Oh yeah, you can also do that. You can also pick stuff up. Oh, okay. Hello, what's going on? Mass is loose, catch it. It's actually pretty smart of the uh, people here. I have no idea. Where we're... Oh, okay. Uh, what am I on exactly? Speed is maxed. <laughs> oh, hello. Now I'm running like a maniac. It's actually pretty cool that you can actually like do that and you can have them sorry about the cut there guys uh phone was ringing you know i do apologize that i've never really been good with uh like timing in terms of recordings because of like how much how many times the phone will ring in an episode or something I do remember uh, before I got this mic that I'm using now, you could always hear when my phone rang, and I'd be like, oh my god, because I wouldn't hear it, I knew that I'd hear it in real life, but I wouldn't actually hear it in the video until post-recording, when I have to watch the episode to make sure, or to like put in the end cards, because originally that's what I had to do was... I'd always put in the end cards uh, through watching the video first. And, of course, well, didn't you guess it? I'd always hear, ring. It's like, ah, oh, come on, phone. Seriously? But yeah, anyway, uh, you guys get where this is coming from. Um, this is like literally the gist of the whole game is to just see how much stuff you can destroy. Uh, this is litter box mode as I stated earlier. Um, and the thing is, is actually that you can do a timed version of this where you have to see how many items you can destroy in a certain amount of time. And if you're able to, then on the other side of the wall, of course, and then that's great because, yeah. Oh, cat. <laughs> oh, and if you go in that box right there, that ends the level. So that's basically your level ender. <laughs> Get everything off. I did want to actually show you guys the uh like whole events sort of deal. So, yeah. Um if you guys are enjoying the episode so far, I do want to say thank you guys for watching. Uh I'm not actually ending the video yet, but, you know. If you're this far into it, then I appreciate it. And, yeah. Um, what? I swear I didn't move there. Got up here. So, my goal of a, uh, for this one, sorry if I go quiet sometimes, it's because I'm trying to, you know, focus and not mess up here. Uh, usually in Minecraft, I'm able to do that because I know, like, all the controls, but because of the way the controls were set up for.
for the game originally made me kind of not want to play this game because the controls are so weird but yeah So like confused as to what So anytime you see a bird, uh Yeah, anytime you see a bird, that's basically your clue as to it's a uh, jump. I mean you can also tell by the color of the like thing that came out of it, but you know it's a rather easier way to tell if in case you're confused. It's also the bird. So my objective for this video is to destroy at least 500 objects before the 30 minute mark. And basically the way I'll keep time is by the amount of, uh, is by the amount of time this video has gone on for. Now I know I didn't exactly start like destroying stuff at the zero zero mark and it was like probably I don't know something a lot later so yeah like see you can tell that one's green um but yeah you know there's like it's kind of weird how the whole thing works I mean it's a cool mechanic that you know you're a cat uh and you're basically destroying your owner's home because for any of you viewers who are out there have a cat you probably know they like to like shove everything off countertops or they're basically a bird because I know birds like to do that um, so you know it's kind of very similar to how a bird acts Um, I want to see if I can get up there. No, fine. Doesn't look like I can. Uh, uh insert. Can I? Can I actually like? But yeah guys, uh, so my current timer shows I'm at 13 minutes, so I'll give myself about 3 minutes, you gotta give myself about 3 minutes off the recording time for, uh, you know, the intro and trying to fix controls and everything. But yeah, um, it looks like to be that I'm about not yet halfway through either the recording or, uh, uh, through, um, oh, a trash can. This is always fun to knock over. Ooh, power outage. So, uh, from what I remember, because I haven't played this game in a long time, as I stated in the beginning of the episode, power outage is basically everything, a, uh, event where your music goes quiet and all you have is your effects sounds until, uh, the power outage is over. See, there we go. All better. Um, yeah, I know there's also a uh, grocery store level, but uh, yeah, I feel like playing it today 
maybe I'll play it in a future episode if you guys special like goal or you know if this video receives like 20 views in eight hours of upload <laughs> within eight hours of it being uploaded to YouTube uh, but no I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna have any ridiculous goals like that uh, I might do another episode like either later this year or I don't know cat litter damage is not really a video you can do a series on unless you're doing litter box mode and you do like the actual objectives of the game which is literally just see how many things you can destroy in such a little amount of time but I mean you know It's not like I don't like the game. I truly do. Because the event's kind of cool. Uh, so it looks to be about 13 minutes in. And... Um, 13 minutes in and I'm about halfway. So I think I'm going to be able to do the goal of destroy 500 objects before... Uh, for 30 minutes before the 30 minute mark um, so yeah if you guys are enjoying the video up to this point hit a like on it uh, I do appreciate them they do mean that you guys are truly enjoying this content and you know my efforts aren't going to waste uh, let's see, home, home, <laughs> uh, can I hit, can I get these out, no, I don't think I can pick them up, can I, oh, I can, a free upgrade has appeared, oh, wow, it's actually pretty close, so, I think I'll grab it. Speed increased. Uh, these probably would be more useful if I was actually doing the timed versions of this. But because I'm doing litter box, it's not really too concerning for me. So, yeah. I do like how the cat will meow if you uh, are trying to. Why am I hitting the jump button? I don't need to jump. I just need. In. That's the problem with this game. It kind of confuses me. Because sometimes I feel like, oh, I have to jump. But it's like, no, you don't have to jump here. Just. Eh. Eh. There. Like, see, I wanted to jump up here, but I wasn't really sure if I should jump. <laughs> so that's how you had to do it. You had to get into the actual container. <laughs> Sorry about that sniffle, guys. I'm kind of a little stuffy, if you guys couldn't tell, by the... Uh, Okay, I'm super cat. Dun 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 Yeah, I was pretty sure it was just on there. Emmy Lou. It's pretty funny. Can I actually knock the porch over? Okay, no, I did get it. Um So three hundred objects almost I'm almost at 300 objects, and I'm still looking for stuff to destroy. Ah, here we go. Shelves. The best way to grab any amount of objects you need is to always find the shelves and then just start rampaging. Moon gravity. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, yes, because that means... Because that means then I'll be able to jump super high. Wait. 
See? I'm super cat. <laughs> oh god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yes, the TV had to go as well. After all, I'm trying to see how much of the items I can destroy in 30 minutes. Well, well, I'm trying to see if I can beat 500 in 30 minutes. If I'm if the level, if I'm unable to do that, I do. Uh, I would say I do apologize, but you know we'll see how close I get, and you know. I need to find the bigger objects because I think I'm only down to about 13 minutes now. Because my recording is saying 21. So actually, no, I'm down to 18. I've done 18 minutes of damage. But. Because remember, I said. Yes, well, the video timer is saying 21 minutes. I haven't been doing this for 21 minutes. Uh. Swap increased. Uh, oh, that one up there. That would have actually been perfect for the moon gravity event. Not that I couldn't get up there manually. I'm just saying I could have done it in one fell swoop. Uh, if I actually had done it the first time. Or, I love how the paper just casually floats to the ground. Of course, I mean, if you did do that in real life, it does kind of just float. It doesn't just immediately fall. So at least the game has physics. That's another thing that's kind of cool about this game. Well, most games like Minecraft don't have physics, this one actually is one of the rarer games to have uh, physics with it. Because when you think about it, you can't just, you know, go around a house destroying objects only for them to move, like, nowhere. So, I don't think I'm actually going to be able to do it. Because it looks like my timer is running pretty low. Um, but, I mean, if you guys did enjoy this, and you want to see more of it, then hit the like button down below. Uh, <laughs> can I actually like? No, I can't. Well, I can. So, oh, disco party. Uh, epileptic, epileptic seizure. If you guys are, you know, prone to that. If not, then keep enjoying the video. Uh, yeah, you can skip ahead like 15 seconds if you're worried about the time. Or if you wanted to know the time that the party's over at. Uh, hold. I'm trying to get all the pool, uh, pool table ball. Because... I know that's like one of the major pointage. Well, it's not actually, because it's not like the, each pool ball is labeled. But, um, yeah, it doesn't look like I'll reach my goal unless I can find 117 more objects to destroy um, before then. Because I don't really know which rooms I've been to. The only way I can tell is by the carnage. <laughs> like that. Um, even so, it doesn't... I don't think I did the shelf up here, but... Eh. Ah. Yeah, as I said, I've never really been good with jumping in this game. Eh. Okay.
Turn it. Ah. Can I? I wonder if I can get up here. Oh, I can. And I can't. Yes, I did it. All right, so you just had to keep moving forward in order for it to actually do it. it makes sense. Um, yeah. Just got to keep swanning all the stuff. Power up has appeared. Whoosh. Oh, that would have actually been cool. And it actually, you know, worked. <laughs> um, eh, get off. Get off, book. You gotta, you guys gotta understand that the, for item to count, it actually has to be on the floor. I'm pretty sure. So, like, see, yeah. That book wasn't on the floor before, so it didn't count it as a uh, item because if it's not on the floor, you can't ju you don't just get points for knocking it over. Uh, sadly, <laughs> I know that would have been you know like the perfect thing is you just get points for knocking it over, but no, you gotta actually put it on a flow. Uh, I might have stand corrected actually from an earlier statement that I said that I wouldn't be able to uh, Get to 500 before 30 minutes if I do get to 500 before 30 minutes then uh, I'll just see how long I can or how many items I can actually get in the what would be the 30 minute timer so uh, Clear to me that this piano is moving uh, uh, here we go. More bottles. <laughs> Get this dumb stuff out of here. Ah, uh, where else? Where else? Ah, here we go. Speaking of where else. Like, you can see how much. Like, look. Like, three plates just fell on the floor, and none of them were at even close to the amount done so it does look like that I have actually been successful and in getting 500 objects destroyed before the 30 minute timer um, what's up so yeah um, I have about I'm just gonna go until this video reaches 30 minutes now because I was actually able to do it that's the only thing that I was afraid of whoosh oh now here's the perfect time super cat da -da -da -da. <laughs> super cat dun, 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 dun. Let's see and we finally hi do I have enough yes I have enough gravity to finally get up to the top of this See, that was the thing I was talking about before, was, like, there are some areas where you won't be able to reach them until you actually, like, get, uh, moon gravity events. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that's really funny. Um, but, sadly, it looks like our time is winding down now. So, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button down below. And, yeah. Um, I will probably, hopefully, make sure to get a roleplay episode up for you guys. Uh, either today or tomorrow. So, you will get a roleplay episode this week. And then, uh, next week is my first week of summer. So, Videos will be coming out more commonly. Hopefully. Cross my fingers. Uh, but they probably won't be out until like Friday or like 
later that day depends on when I record them and how long I record it for so yeah guys that's gonna do it for this video hope you guys enjoyed if you did hit that like button down below uh, you can buy cat lateral damage on Steam uh, for like 10 bucks so it's a cheap game but it is a pretty good game anyway so 516 objects in 30 minutes is not a bad score at all so yeah guys I appreciate you for watching and see ya